it's Erin again, Creative Director for Scribe. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to design your spine and your back cover. Now that the interior layout is finished, it's time to finalize the cover files and get your book ready for print. Create the book cover template. The task of creating the files for the physical book is very precise. It's important that all the dimensions are right and all the formulas to calculate them are much more complicated than the simple rules for creating a Kindle cover. Fortunately, printers will often create cover file templates for designers to work from to ensure that all the dimensions are right. Throughout this course, the assumption is that you will be printing through CreateSpace. If that's the case, they have a handy tool that allows you to do this automatically. You can go to the CreateSpace website and they'll automatically generate a template for your designer to work from. If you're planning on using a commercial offset printer to create your book, check our resources for all the details on how to replicate this stage of the process. Organize your spine and back cover. The next decision you'll need to make is what goes where on your back cover and spine. This is one of those areas where authors can freak themselves out feeling like they need to conform to some mysterious unwritten rules. Don't do this. There are no hard and fast rules about what belongs where on your back cover, only rules of thumb. Here are some general guidelines. The spine should contain the title and your author name. If you have a publishing imprint for your book, you can also include that on the spine. If not, don't worry about it. No reader actually cares. Some book spines will include a miniature version of the front cover or a symbol related to the ideas in the book. Again, this is by no means necessary, but can be a nice touch when done right. I personally like to have a spine that kind of reflects what's going on the front cover, but to each their own. If your book is under 100 pages, there likely won't be enough room on the spine to put pretty much anything on there. One alternative here is to leave your spine completely blank, but the other option is to try to get the book over 100 pages. You can do this by making the page size smaller or by adding extra elements like an acknowledgement section, a dedication, or a workbook in the back. Additionally, the designer of your interior can stretch your manuscript with layout tricks like adding paragraph breaks and tweaking the letting. The back cover of paperbacks almost always include the book description as the central piece of the cover. Authors will include a testimonial or a blurb for the book above the description, an author bio, and an author photo below the description, or both or neither. It's up to you. The author bio and photo can be inside as well, and you can always leave the photo out if you desire. For hardcover books, which CreateSpace can't publish, but you may be interested in publishing through another printer, the usual format is to put only testimonials or blurbs on the back cover. The description then goes on the left front flap, and the author photo and bio go on the right or back flap. In any case, make sure you leave enough space so that the description is large enough to be read. Shoot for a maximum of 200 words on the back cover of the book, and ideally less if you can make it work. Now it's time to pass all this information back to your designer to work on the final files. They'll need the cover template from the printer, the description, and other copy for the back cover, and the ISBN number of the book. You should use the same designer that you used for the front cover to do the back and the spine. This will ensure that you get a consistent style over all pieces of the book. You can negotiate a full cover, including spine and back, from the start with your designer. If you weren't able to have this discussion beforehand and the designer was paid only to do the front cover, for example if you use 99 designs, feel free to ballpark an additional 30 to 50 percent on top of what you paid for the front cover design to get the back and the spine done. Once the designer sends back the finished cover files and you're happy with everything, you're ready to go to the next phase. You have all the files for your printed book finished and ready to go. All that's left is to design your ebook, and then we'll be ready to move on to the final phase, which is printing. Send the cover designer the final template, the book description, and any other back cover assets. Work with the cover designer to create the full book jacket. 